In this video, I will describe how to do ordered probit models and ordered logit models in SAS. Before you view this video, please make sure that you have watched my other two videos on the theory as well as the example uh, of ordered probit and logit models. So I have already opened the SAS program here and I have executed it so that the results are also showing to save time. I will go ahead and open up the data set so we can take a look at it. Here we have data where health status would be the dependent variable and it's an ordered variable and we have three categories, fair, good, and excellent. And here are the numeric correspondence of these categories and we would be using the numeric correspondence um, in the uh, empirical analysis. Age, log income, and the number of diseases would be our independent variables in this analysis. So the first thing to do is read your data set and you can change the directory as well as the name of the file that you're reading. The next thing is we can summarize the data set using proc means. You put the name of the variables here. And this is the summary. If you notice, uh, the mean for the health status uh, variable would not make any sense. Why? Because it's a 1, 2, 3 variable, but it's categorical, so the numbers don't mean anything. You can call it 2, 3, and 4 you know, with, with the same logic. So the way to, to summarize this categorical dependent variable is to use the frequency. So use proc frequency, and for tables, you put the name of the dependent variable that you want to summarize. And here you see these are the frequencies and these are the percent frequencies that I have summarized in the example. So that's the only good way in which you can summarize the dependent variable. The next thing is to estimate the ordered logit model. And we do this with proc logistic. Make sure that you put here the, the word descending because otherwise SAS models the probability uh, of the lower outcome, so it would give you numbers opposite of what we interpret. And for the model, you put the name of the dependent variable, for us it's health status, and then all the independent variables here, and you put run at the end. And these are the results that we have for PROC Logistic. We would need to scroll down, and these are the results for the coefficients that you can report in a, in a table. The first thing to notice is that there are two intercepts. Why? Because there are three categories, therefore we have two intercepts. The next thing to notice is the coefficients and their significance, uh, which means that older people, if I'm reading this coefficient, older people are less likely to be in the higher categories of, of health status. And people with higher income are more likely to be in the higher categories or bet, better categories of health status. Um, we can also estimate an ordered logic model using PROC uh, gen mod. And here is the, how the, uh, the procedure is, is done. The only thing to remember is also to include here distribution multinomial uh, in order to calculate um, the, ordered, uh, the ordered logit model. And here's the procedure with the gen mod. And if we scroll down, you can see very similar results. So SAS is, um, can actually estimate the same models using different procedures, and this is exactly what I have done here. The next thing to do is calculate an ordered probit model, and you can do this with PROC Logistic. Don't, don't forget to put the word descending here, but you can also put link, link equals normit for normal distribution. This would tell it to estimate a probit model instead of a logit model. 
and here's the proc logistic and we have again uh, very similar results here uh, and you interpret them exactly in the same way the next thing that you can do is also estimate a proc uh, in ordered probit model if you use proc q lim uh, you put then the model, the dependent and independent variables and one good thing is that we can um, output the marginal effects MFX and then we can summarize them so if we look down here at the last thing here's the QLIM procedure and again you interpret those results exactly the same way as before and here are the marginal effects on health status 1 and again uh, here the um, SAS is modeling the probability on the excellent health status the highest category so we can go ahead and interpret the magnitudes so for each one unit increase in log income we have a 9% uh, more likely to be in the uh, excellent health status and for each unit increase in age for each year you get older you're about one percent less likely to be in the excellent health status so that's how you interpret that okay so this video was how to do ordered probit and ordered logit models in SAS thank you for watching